where there was a father who posted their child in the bathtub. Like, this is stuff you've seen like on movies. Law and & Order and yeah. stuff like that. I need someone who wants to imprint. You got people on the other side paying to buy these. Like, it's just so demented both ways. We are doing another episode on the dark web. I'm not gonna say what I said. Okay, fine, we're taking a deep dive into the dark web. I said it, I did it. <laughs> Let's Dark do web, it. <laughs> jumping in. If you haven't already and you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. Yes. Let's jump into this. Disturbing dark web stories that actually happened. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This is the story of Daisy's destruction, all done in one part, so keep up. Peter Scully, a man who lived in Australia, moved to the Philippines because child prostitution was so popular. Peter ran a website for pet where people could buy videos for upwards of $10,000. Peter and his accomplice would lure children into his torture room and commit heinous acts for profit. The most famous film he created was titled Daisy's Destruction. The film featured three girls, Cindy, Liza, and Daisy, who was 18 months old at the time. The accomplice wore a mask and would hang these children upside down and torture them and record the entire thing. Peter Scully was arrested and charged for the heinous crimes he committed. Today, the website still lingers around because people were able to make back of it. I will end this video with a message from one of the victims. Never be happy again and, and not think about them. I hope I can forget when I grow up. Oh my god. Wow. Mm. That is, I, I've heard of the whatever Scully. I wanted to do more info on him because I've come across. That's the guy's name? Yes, because when I was doing info on the dark web, like doing some research, not on the dark web, about the dark <laughs> web, I saw never been on it. No. But that guy came up and I think I saw the Wikipedia on him and okay. he's the one who had a room, like in our past dark web episode, I said how people literally have rooms and pay to watch people get tortured and he literally had one of those. Oh my God. But I didn't know that he had... Three Young, little... 18 months old? 18 months, and then it looked like little children. Oh, that is... That, that is insane. The last clip was, like, heartbreaking, where I guess One of they're the being interviewed, and um, they translated to us, saying, I wish, Hoping. hope when I'm an adult, I yeah. can forget this. I'm hope, I, I'm a, you know, she's definitely getting therapy. I'm just happy that she's alive. I know what yeah. she went through is horrendous, but there's so many stories where it ends up with the victim dying, and that's just terrible. It's the guy who did this is now in jail for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm could possibly die in jail or whatever Hopefully. yeah whatever happens to him like we don't it's fine as long as he's caught i'm just happy that the victim is alive and hopefully can rekindle you know her life and through therapy kind of work through that they're selling their bodies for money to these kids to these people yeah it's kids, kids prostituting themselves yes yeah so one of them i don't know if this is a real 16 year old or not but what was said was pretty disturbing regardless uh it said god i really want to be a mom I need someone who wants to impregnate my little 16-year-old. When I have our daughter, I'd let you do whatever you wanted from whatever age. Make me watch as you hurt her, making her scream, or if you prefer to gently groom her, teaching her how to lovingly... Don't worry if it's a boy. You can watch me... Teaching him how to properly... A woman. Teaching him how to slap and hurt me to... He'd be so cute trying to... hard, but so little oh my god so when i got these text messages and reading them even current day right now um oh god that's crazy so to put it because there was a lot going on in my mind i was like not <laughs> wrapping myself around that the mom yeah was, there was trying some, uh, to find someone to impregnate no. her 16 year old daughter that's how I took it. Unless I Whoever the original person was, yes, they f said impregnate the sixteen-year-old girl, and then I want to be a grandma or something. Maybe I read. I don't know. I, I missed that part, but whatever it was, the person on the dark net was saying, "I need someone to impregnate the sixteen-year-old," and then whether it's a little girl or a little boy, and yeah. I'm not even say anything there because that I couldn't even. Um, Oh, God. That's crazy. No, because mm. I thought it was literally the mother of the child who was doing that. It would, regardless, it's, it's just disgusting. But I've, that's... They pretty much wanted to crazy. make a little baby so that they could torture. And then it was just, oh, God. Awesome. Yeah. But I this can. guy here that we just saw, he's actually like an ethical hacker. He goes on the dark web and takes down a ton of these bad websites and I'm hoping the reason why he was talking about this yeah. was that he took this thing this down. Is, that's what he does. Yeah. He, um, gets, he goes on, he takes the websites down, he exposes people, he gets people caught, all that stuff. So yeah, he's I, actually, it's awesome what this guy does.
On the dark web, a woman put her baby in the oven and cooked him for 30 minutes. The only thing you could hear in the video is the screaming and crying of the baby. Oh my god. Okay. Is that true? Because that is disturbing. That is At first highly I didn't, disturbing. I'm... Oh my god. That is highly disturbing. There are, like, I've heard of crazy people doing things like, like, this is the point where, like, if you can't have a child. What the f Drop or drop him or her off at <sighs> the fire department. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. just why leave it somewhere where someone why? can care for it. But what's even sicker is that there's people wanting to watch this. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's wow. Before I ever caught a single predator in my life, this was this was the beginning. Should I read these? Like they're graphic. Yeah, read them. So the title of this post is "Who Wants to <laughs> Bang These Little?" <laughs> Somebody replied underneath, "I've got first dibs on the little <laughs> middle." And this was the photo that they used. Oh my God. The story I told you about the bathtub situation where there was a father who posted their child in the bathtub. It said underneath of it, they have no idea what's gonna happen to them tonight. And then underneath of that, there were people that were part of this website who were saying what they were gonna do to this child. In our investigations, we found out there was a lot of actual kids on this website, real kids, that were under 18 at the time of uh, this, this, when I hacked the site. What are they doing on there? They're selling their bodies for money. This is like going back before we were talking about kid thing. Like, oh. I hate stuff like this. Like, this is like not even on, like in the sense of this is on the regular internet, I believe, or people in regular life who have like lots of money do these crazy things. Yeah. And then you have the dark web, the dark net, or whatever you want to call that the deep insane. web. It said the father took a picture that's of just, the kids in the bathtub. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. And said they don't know what's going to happen to them. That's insane. That's. But the, it seems like this guy, I just ran into him recently, mm. like online, that particular he's a gentleman. Hacker, right? Yeah, he's like what they call an ethical hacker. Uh, he might have not been as ethical in the beginning. <laughs> not that he did anything like this. I think yeah. he was just like your typical hacker. And then he started becoming. Um, well, he probably started pro seeing hacker. like what is on the dark web yes. and was like, what the yes. fuck? And his conscience was just like, all right, <sighs> I have the ability to make an impact and actually help and remove these sites these people and catch them or whatever so that's kind of what he's been doing yeah. so i'm going to look into him a little bit more because i love what this guy's doing just yeah. from what i've come across a couple of his it seems videos like he takes like a lot of people down and stuff right? yeah i think i saw another one where he was like gonna take down a site or whatever yeah. it might be in this one i really don't know i've like seen a few but it's just yeah. disgusting what is on the dark web and i wish mm -hmm. I, I don't know i wish the cops and the other folks fbi all well, those i don't they focus on that. Is it just so much like they just keep going? Like they take down. Like, like they did they ever down, take down the Silk Road? They, like they did, and then there's always. And like, then they just another thing pops up. Yes, pretty it much. might not be as big and as whatever, but things will keep popping up. Mm. Like it's the internet. Yeah. You could literally go home, go on your computer, wake up, what, make a website today. It could be taken down in a week. You just make another one. You change your IP. Like technology is so crazy. That's why it took so long to find the guy who did the Silk Road. Like, you can make a site, but make it look like you're in a different country and you're running it. And then you have all these other people doing things. Like, I'm assuming they could take it down and someone's like, all right, well, I think a lot of it's like, up tomorrow. I don't know, all the verbiage, but like encrypted and stuff like yeah. that. Like, where and there's they all put like, so many walls up or whatever. Yeah. And so it's, so, it's hard to get to. And it's so anonymous. It's not like, I think, if you guys know, correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's no like Google of the dark web. You need to know what to do, where to go. You need to yeah. know the, what he said, Dodd Onion. And there's like a wiki which gives you links, but I'm sure there's a ton of sites that no one knows about unless you know it. And guess what? If you know about that site and it's bad and there's like 10 people who know about it, you're not telling anyone. It's until it gets leaked probably to someone like him who's like, okay, now I'm gonna go push it to the FBI or I'm gonna try doing it. That's the problem. Like I'm literally spitballing mm. as I'm talking out loud mm. and thinking. But I'm almost thinking that there could be a site that only a small amount, let's yeah. say 10, 20 people know about. And since you don't know that site isn't like searchable, you don't know it exists. It could be well, like... Well, yeah, we can't access any yeah, of that. But not even that. It's just like you go, you can't search it. Even someone who has access to the dark web, it could be like, I'm thinking a long string of numbers and letters, dot onion. And mm -hmm. then the only people who know about it are the people who made it 
and that are making money off of selling it to people with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And until it gets in front of the right eyes that are going to do something about it, I don't know. Is that right? Can that happen? I'm curious. Yeah. I'm just talking out loud right now. Today, we're going to go on some dark web forum pages. For those who don't know what the dark web is, this is where your TikTok, Google, YouTube, everything is. This is your deep web. This is kind of like your information page. And this is the dark web. This is kind of where all the bad stuff is, purposely hidden. The page I'm showing you guys today is pretty much a website where people can ask a question and get anonymous answers. This guy right here is looking for an untraceable email. I wonder why he would need an untraceable email. He's very keen on making it extremely hard to trace. This guy says, is it possible to gain access to psychiatric records? records. He says he has a friend who he thinks is a sociopath and he's trying to get his records illegally to see. This is where we get interesting. This guy asks, would I be able to get away with this method of murder? Andy says the person I plan on murdering is someone from my school. Pretty much he talks about how he's going to poison this classmate and then he gets an answer. He says you won't get away with this method of murder but let me help you. If you want to see more make sure to follow. But let me help okay. you? Mm -hmm. So how that about, wasn't even the that's dark crazy. web. That was the deep web so that's like the in-between I don't. Yeah, and those are just like in ant questions but you see Q &A. even the innocent type of question oh a hidden email like why the f do you need a yeah. hidden email but like every question was that's where, negative like, you need to get help that person that's why it sucks that it's so anonymous because that's where you can stop a, a mass shooting at a school so a kid literally wants to kill someone yeah. at school yeah, the last and example. Yeah, yeah, asking how to get away with it. Like, that's a child that needs help. He needs to be stopped <sighs> before he takes, before he acts on his thoughts. Yeah. And like, then, obviously, crazy. he gets a anonymous answer saying, you can't do it that way, but that you're planning you. it. I'll help you. Like that's It just shows you that there are crazy, lots <laughs> of yeah. crazy people. The people asking the questions and the people answering. It's no longer up, but it was... .co. So I see this website and I see the content in these screenshots that my friend's wife sent me. She doesn't know anything about computers, but she has kids herself. And she was like, can you do something about this? One of them was talking about a mother that wanted to have kids and then have the kids be uh, so that, that when the kids grew up that they could, you know, have in incest and, and go even further. I mean, I, I'll pull up the screenshots because I'd like to explain like where my head was at that time. But as soon as I read these messages, switch flipped in my brain and I left my friend's house immediately as I got the text. I went home, I found a vulnerability in their platform. I got in and from that point on, I started to exfiltrate the data every single day. All of the users, um, I noticed that, th that a lot of people were soliciting child on the side mm. yeah so that's a perfect example that was the guy earlier that yeah. i was referencing that he's like a ethical hacker hacker turned good or whatever um yeah that, that is website insane. is disgusting obviously the it's right in the name it's disgusting the first story of um so, the uh, mother that whatever i don't i can't even say it um that's just so twisted I just can't believe how many twisted people there are. It's not surprising because of all the stories we've heard of. Yeah. But there are just so many twisted people in this world. And there needs to be more of him. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wish when I was younger, I learned how to hack <laughs> and do all this stuff. And Let's then the, we could put it on our down. YouTube over here and be like, we're taking this down, we're taking that down, oh, we're doing God. this, we're doing that. Oh. It's just crazy because we hear of all the stories on the news. Like, I don't watch the news much. It's all negative, to be honest. Yeah. It's just me personally. I just don't watch it much. If, you know, I, I go online. So if there's articles or whatever, we're up to date Breaking with Breaking news on YouTube yeah. and stuff like that. We but I don't that. like sit there and watch the news. Yeah. But the point is like we hear of so much negativity and crazy things going on in this world. Just think about what percentage that actually is compared to what we don't know. Yeah. And then just the thought of what we don't What we know, don't see. What we, exactly. What we don't see. What's there's on a the lot dark, what we don't see. Which is insane. I want to do more research on it, yeah. so we're probably going to come back with more. Uh, if you have, if certain... YouTube shows it, <laughs> I'm going to do some research. <laughs> if you guys have more input or videos, we'll have our Instagram in the uh, in the link in our description. Mm -hmm. You can send us some content to react to, and if you know more info from anything that me or her said, correct us, fill us yeah. in, let us know about the dark web. If you know more about it, if you're interested in more content, we have a ton of videos from reaction, scary videos, conspiracy theories, dark web, this, that informational, all different stuff. Consider subscribing for more and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye.